All right, we're here with Saints General Manager Mickey Loomis at the NFL Scouting Combine. Um, they, whatever it is, it, it starts, <laughs> they're all mixed together, Mickey, but uh, <laughs> now for the main reason you're here, uh, the Scouting Combine, just uh, what do you think, thoughts on this draft, especially after last year's draft, and you guys were able to fill so many needs, but you know, what do you see about this draft, some of the strengths and, and maybe weaknesses of it? Well, look, I think, you know, it's early, first of all, um, but I, I, I think that it's, it's uh, you know, it's a good class. Uh, we'll be able to have an opportunity to get a good player or two in this draft, maybe a few more, hopefully. Um, you know, different than last year, though, we don't have, you know, five picks in the first uh, uh, three rounds, so um, <clears throat> we'll have to be a little more judicious, I think, in, uh, when it comes right down to it. Uh, we do have some later, uh, more later round picks. Um, that maybe we can uh, turn into something good. Um, but I'm encouraged. You guys set such a high bar last year with that draft. Do you like having that pressure, I guess, now to, you know, especially, well, not just last year's draft, but the draft before that and the one yeah. before that. Do you like having that pressure now of people, the ex expectations of the Saints are going to come out of this with, with starters? Well, we, listen, we have high expectations for ourselves every year. And, and uh, uh, you know, we had some good things happen with the class last year, you know, thanks to the players themselves and our coaches and, uh, you know, a good job by our scouting staff. And, um, you know, obviously we're looking to repeat that. And now obviously it's hindsight now, but when did you get a feel that that was a special class? I mean, was it, you know, draft day after you, after you get everybody and you say, you know what, I think we got, I think we got a few good ones here. Well, you know, I, I don't know that you ever, you know, have a great feel for uh, you know how they're going to perform in season, but you know I think early on it was it uh, you know I think every guy was what we expected and 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 met um, you know met the expectations that we had via the evaluation. So that was encouraging, and uh, you know we had high character, smart guys, uh, um, tough, productive in, in, uh, at their schools and. And, uh, you know, they carried that forward. And, and, again, I think it was a good job by our coaching staff and, and by the players themselves. They bought in and, and uh, uh, embraced, um, embraced coaching and the culture that we have at the, at the Saints. And, 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 look, it worked out. Um, that was year one, though. They've got to follow that up uh, uh, in the coming years. Now, I know we ask you this, but how critical was the combine to that process? I know it's just a small yeah. part of it, but, you know, it seems like, you know, it's an opportunity to get to meet players, get to talk to them, get to find out a few things about them. Yeah, I, look, I think every element is is uh, is important, uh, and this is one of those. You know, you, you have this impression. Uh, again, we have these evaluations that our scouts have done, and our scouts have talked, uh, you know, about all these players, and, and we have expectations of how they're going to do here. And, and um, so I think it's important that um, – you know, the, what we see here is important. It's just, but it, it's one of the, um, you know, one of the information gathering points that we have, and so um, that's it. <laughs> really, I don't now, know how to say it any differently. Now we've we've got an insider on the competition committee now. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so how like is that, how is that process? I mean, and, and what do you think about Coach Payton being added to the uh, competition? Well, committee? look, I, I'm I'm in favor of it. I'm in favor of it for a couple of reasons. One is that it, look, it does give us some influence uh, on, on an important committee. Um, but secondly, look, Sean's really intelligent. He's been uh, obviously a head coach for a long time now, and he has pretty strong viewpoints um, on an, on a number of things. And and he gets to um, you know, he gets to air those viewpoints and, and be listened to. And, and so I think it's good for, I think it's good for our league, number one. Um, but it's also good for the Saints uh, and that we get to have some influence. Do we now know what a, cut, a catch is? Well, I, you'll have to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to ask him on that point. But look, that, that's a, you know, we laugh about that. And yet, man, it's, a, it's, it's an important um, debate. Um, and then even more important than the debate is how do you, um, craft a rule and, and language that that fits what we uh, you know what we all want to see and so they've got a tough job but they've got uh, a lot of really smart people in that committee and and uh, um, they'll come up with something really good I'm sure you know last thing here um, you were at the senior bowl in Mobile uh, the coaches were split off they were in Orlando at the Pro Bowl uh, was that a difficult bridge to gap or, or a gap to bridge or, or was it pretty pretty simple well 
okay, I guess I'd rather be in Miami, <laughs> right? <laughs> or Orlando, I guess, if I was having a good time. But uh, no, uh, listen, we're, we're, you know, we're used to having them there, and that's their, uh, that's our coaching staff's, you know, first look at a, a group of players from this, this class, and yet it's a, it's a, you know, it's a limited group, um, much more limited than what they're going to see here. So, uh, you know, I think, I thought we got some good work done by our scouts and, uh, and our personnel staff at the Senior Bowl, and, and that was just, uh, you know, one of the early steps. This is, a, this is another one. You know, you know, and I, I lied. I said that was the last one, but that's not the last one <laughs> because uh, we're going towards free agency, and we know that you guys are able to kind of buffer the team in free agency. So, you know, I know there are obviously specific areas that you like to address, but how critical does free agency become, I guess, before the draft and, and enable you to take guys who maybe are the best available as opposed to having to reach because you're able to fill some needs in free agency? Yeah, I, you know, I, listen, I think every year, you know, we have a, a plan and we have, you know, things that we want to get accomplished. And the more that you can get accomplished um, in the in the off season before the draft, you know, gives you a little extra freedom in the draft. And, and yet I think you still in the draft have to resist, um, you know, taking taking a best available uh, uh, need over best available player. And so uh, it's a balance. And, and um, I think that over the years, you know, we've, we've done a good job of being able to take the best available player, um, but this is another year. Well, as Saints General Manager Mickey Loomis, I'm John DeShazer here at the NFL Scouting Combine in Indianapolis.